Good morning. I thought we'd look at another two Psalms in book four of the book of Psalms, Psalm 103 and 104. Let me uh, share my screen with you here so that you can see what it is that I want to focus on. If you'll notice here, verse one of 103, let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. And then David goes on with uh, what God has done for him. He talks about Israel's history, uh, Moses, and the way God uh, uh, delivered Israel. Uh, he talks in general about uh, the things that God does. Then he finishes Verse 22, praise the Lord, everything he has created, everything in all his kingdom. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Psalm 104, let all that I am praise the Lord. And here again, David talks about a number of, of things that has happened. Uh, this is not so historically based as 103. This is more about what God does for the people of Israel simply in Israel's um, or, or in the world's makeup. And uh, so much of this talks about creation. You see references here to the mountain, to the animals, to the ocean. Even Leviathan gets a mention here. And then at the very end, let all the sinners vanish from the face of the earth and the wicked disappear forever. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to focus on this phrase, let all that I am praise the Lord. So to do that, there is one little trick here on Bible Gateway. You pull up the single verse, 103.1, that we want to look at, and you can pull up 103.1 in all English translations. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless Jehovah, O my soul, all that is within me, the Amplified Bible, all that is deep within me. Um, different, uh, different uh, translations, the contemporary English, let everything inside me bless his name. Uh, we, we come down here to the English standard version, all that is within me bless his holy name. The um, Let's see, International Children's Bible, everything in me, praise his holy name. King James, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Those of us who may have grown up in a liturgical church that uh, had a choir with doxologies, this is a common one, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Uh, the message. From head to toe, I'll bless his holy name. Um, New American Standard, bless the Lord, O my soul. All that is within me, bless his holy name. The NIV, all my inmost being. New Living Translation, what we started with, with my whole heart. I will praise his holy name. Now, I've also shown you a... Um, a tool called Logos. One of the advantages of Logos is that it allows you to look at the text behind the text without necessarily uh, knowing Hebrew. It gives you the opportunity to look at the Hebrew behind the text. So here's the phrase. I'm using the Logos translation, which is called the Lexham English Bible, bless Yahweh, O my soul, and 
all within me. It's this phrase that we're looking at. So we're going to look first at all. We highlight the word all, right click on it, and we get a reference. Uh, we can look up wherever that Hebrew word for all occurs, or simply by double clicking over here on this side of the screen, we have a dictionary definition of the Hebrew word kol. And it means all, but it also means the whole of. All or every, the whole of. So let all that is within me means let the whole, uh, everything within me. Now let's look at the word within. And uh, the word within is a different word. It's the word karev. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to look it up. Karev means the inward parts, the midst of it. In a human body, it's the physical sense. It means specifically the belly, or it can mean actually um, the innards. <laughs> it can mean the the uh, uh, the the entrails, as you see here, of sacred animals or of an individual. So what in the world? Uh, the psalmist seems to be saying, let my entire small intestine praise the Lord. But that's not actually what that word means when it's applied to a person like that. It can mean an inward part of man. It is the seat of thought and emotion. It is a faculty of thought and emotion. So what we see here, when David says, let all that I am praise the Lord. What he's saying is my thoughts, my emotions, my capacity of reasoning, everything that I am needs to praise God. That's what this psalm is about. I just wanted to share that short little piece with you today. Uh, today, as you go to the Lord in prayer, let all that you are, your emotions, your thoughts, your heart, your capacity to reason. Let it all praise the Lord.